now I'm never looking for anything because <laughs> then you never find it. I think we're in a time now where anything goes and it's a wonderful thing. You can give a gift of a smile and it won't cost you a penny. Yeah. You know who it is, <laughs> Perfect. Love in this all denim look, yeah. What are you up to today? To see the movie Barbie, which has just came out today. You look like a Barbie. So, like, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's talk about what you're wearing. Where's the bra from? So it's all the one brand. It's called S M F K. It's actually a Chinese brand. It's a Chinese which brand. Which I work with, yeah. Okay. So I'm ambassador of this brand, and it's like I love it so much. And shoes also from them. How did you find out about this brand? So they reached out to me on Instagram and that's how we started working. Okay. My fashion inspiration usually is just like a Pinterest. I like to scroll and see what I like and just inspired by pictures. Maybe like a little 90s, right? A little 90s <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is the part of the video where we rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? 11. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> My Instagram is Diana for Gorilla. My name is Devin Jose and I'm from Northern California. Mm -hmm. Let's jump into what you're wearing. Where's the corset from? The corset is with Jean. So I thrifted these mm -hmm. and actually found $20 within the pants that paid for them. And then I went home and I cut them up for summer. Uh, these are Converse. Very Cali, right? Very laid back. Where's the bag from? This is from Second Street. Um, I believe it has like no brand, has nothing. All my friends have been it asking. Leather? It's real leather, yeah, oh, it's wow. very soft. A lot of little pockets and places to put my little treats and finds okay. here at the flea market. And These are from eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Hand polished frame, that's all. Oh, kiss. <laughs> Whatever that is. Can I see your watch as well? Yes, this is my, uh, my grandmother's. Ooh. Yeah, watches are very important to me and symbolic. Yeah, I, I, I just saw you buy a watch, right? Yeah, so I actually uh, make watch chokers. Ooh, yeah. okay, so you came out here to source materials, right? Yeah, for I do a little bit of sourcing here. Okay. Uh, I also just like to peek around and more so see what other people are doing and wearing. And yeah, I have a couple of vendor friends here just oh, tap cool. into my people. The one quote that's always like sit in my head with fashion is from Rihanna. And it was basically saying like challenging yourself and seeing what you can get away with with the Ooh. most out there thing you can find and put together. Good one, love yeah. it. Let me ask you this. What is the biggest style difference between Cali and NY? Cali is simplicity um, and New York is the exact opposite. It's like goes for like a wow factor that we, we don't do in Cali. Cali <laughs> is very practical um, and then here it's more um, expression. Okay, which one do you prefer? I prefer New York for sure. Right. I feel like I'm a hybrid of New York. <laughs> <laughs> what is one style and tip you can lend the audience so they can stay both fashionable and cool? Um, I'd say the texture of your pieces, if they're really light, um, a lot of pieces might look small, but then they're very thick. Even this corset is kind of thicker, um, but yeah, like linens, and silks, things that are light and flowy, the air can kind of travel through, or just a bathing suit. Send it. <laughs> it's time to rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? Today, today was pretty lax, but I feel like it's still pretty cool. I would give it like a 7.5. But let me get you to share the Instagram. Uh, Devise yeah. NYC. City. So what are you up to right now? Um, at the flea, just looking for great stuff, which I find every single okay. week. Anything in particular you're looking for? No, I'm never looking for anything particular, because <laughs> then you never find it. Do you mind telling us what you do? Uh, well, I've done a lot of things. I've been in the beauty business, I was a fashion stylist, um, and now I have a denim line called Linda Hop. So let's walk through your outfit, right? Let's start off with these glasses. Where they, where they uh, from? They're from, I think, Sport Max. I don't know. I have a lot of glasses, they fit but... your face yeah, so well. I and it goes perfectly with the outfit. Yeah. All right, the shirt? I don't know. We'd have to look. The denim is 15-year-old Uniqlo jeans. Uniqlo? Uniqlo. Oh, wow. They lasted that long. And of course, 10 years, yeah. the Pumas, right? Yep. Yeah. Where's this from? I got it in, uh, in Manhattan. It's... Uh, Japanese, I can't remember what store I got it. Maybe Y3. You were telling me a very, very touching story 
about the necklace you oh, have yes. on. You mind sharing the story with us? Well, uh, it's a sad one, but um, my dear friend Rennie Lewis, who um, makes incredible jewelry, knew about my dog passing, and I had cut off a little bit of his hair for myself. And she makes these incredible shakes, she calls them. She usually puts jewels in them, but this time she put Winky, my dog who just passed, um, in here. So I never take it off. Rest in peace, Winky, right? Yeah, it's his curls from, you know, well, dressing, I'm very simple. I'm not flamboyant. I don't wear a lot of dresses. Um, I like to say I'm more cowgirly. I'm not so interested, <laughs> interested in, you know, I don't think I've owned a long dress since I was 18. You know, I don't dress up. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? Oh, this is a 3, maybe. A 3? Oh, I'd rather be you're wearing too stingy. Because I'd rather be wearing my own denim, of course. <laughs> yeah. My Instagram is um, at Linda, L-I-N-D-A. A N D Winks W I N K S. Thank one word. you so much. You look great. Thank you. I'm Phil Harris, and I'm from New York City. You're looking super fabulous. What Thank are you up you, to right now? Hanging out with you. <laughs> you told me you made everything here, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. My jewelry is very inspired by the romance. Uh, when I was a child, I used to watch Hercules and. You know, and, and back in the day, the men, they wore all the big, bold pieces. And it was just looked at as more power as opposed to a fashion trend or anything. It's like armor for some men, it's right? It's armor, yeah, exactly. Let's right. have a closer look at some of the pieces. This earring piece, ooh, it's like a little bit Asian inspired. It's like a door knocker, right? Yeah, yeah. The shirt, it's a little bit cut off, yeah? yeah I did, I, man, I cut this shirt off 35 years ago. Let's look at some of the arm candy. Yeah. Oh, it matches perfectly with the your name right there. Yeah. And this gun accessory. What's the inspiration behind like some gun motif? I'm I'm looking at it as just a piece of art. You know, I see myself as a walking piece of art. And New York's a little bit greedy now, so that might come in handy. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, we'll see. We'll <laughs> skirts by me. The the boot is just a combat boot. But it's the original combat group. Well, you know, I'm really uh, inspired, you know, by myself. I am 67 years old. Uh, I've been in fashion pretty much 37, 37 years. Uh, I came here to work with Phyllis Hyman, a couple of pieces with Grace Jones. I think we're in a time now where anything goes and it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. We spoke a little bit off camera and then you were telling me about Bill Cunningham, which is one of my heroes, right? Yes, yes So yes. tell me the story you were telling me. I was walking, I was coming down 8th Avenue, and it was a cold day that day, and I was really in a hurry, and I had groceries in my hands, and Bill Cunningham rode on his bicycle. I didn't know who this guy was, and he says, could he take my photograph? Fast forward, uh, that Sunday I woke up, some friends of mine called me and said, Bill, congratulations. You made the fashion column for Bill Cunningham. Story that he was telling about the men uh, dressing as peacocks. And it's interesting because I was just getting ready to start blending in with the rest of the world. And then Bill Cunningham came along and told me the last thing he said to me, Mr. Harris, thank you for keeping fashion alive. Love that. Yeah. And nothing like a Bill Cunningham stamp of approval, uh, right? Oh, yes. And I'm going to take that to my grave. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, yes. how would you rate your own outfit? 10. Woo! My Instagram handle would be fashion.harris. My name is Michael Roman. I'm from Manhattan. What are you up to right now, Michael? I'm shopping at the flea market here, oh. looking for lovely new treasure. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, sure. what do you do? I am a former display artist of 39 years, now I'm retired for the last three years and I'm enjoying it. And I Love recommend that. everyone retire. Is that like a yeah. window dresser? I did windows, I did interior, I designed pictures, it means everything. You what do you wear? The jewelry. I love jewelry. Look at this. Look at that shine. And this Ooh. one. Love that. And this is nothing, this is fellow today. <laughs> Alright, so let's start off with the hat. Where's that yeah. from? Oh, it's made in Africa. Okay. Did you get that here from Yes, Sophie I Fleet? got it last oh. week for $15. I what hope my a husband's score. not listening to this. Oh, I love that bag. That's a little Chanel vintage bag. Right. This is really cool, the skeleton. It's from World War 
two, I think. Oh, wow. Your full of surprises today, right? You know, so did you match that purple to your outfit yes, on purpose? Yes, that's it. I, I matched the okay. jewelry to the outfit. Right. Look at this. This is amber. Ooh. Each piece is inlaid in the, of every different color amber. Here's another again here. You guys need to come here. I'll show you around. <laughs> Where's the glasses from? Oh, uh, Weber Parker. I never get the name right. Warby Parker. Warby Parker. Okay. Yeah, my husband's <laughs> always correcting me. Oh, look at this. This is a military belt. Oh, wow. It's like a sergeant's belt, right? And look at this. This is silver. Is it? Oh, really? Sterling silver. Yeah, Sterling silver <laughs> on its eyes. And these boots. I just love them. Where are they, where are they I from? I feel like uh, Robin Hood. Your outfit screams New York City, exactly. right? <laughs> I, I'm a true New Yorker. I love true that. New, not afraid of clothes. I don't care what other people say, they're not paying my rent. I love vintage things. I love when I get an outfit, I put it together. I want something that you're not going to see other people wearing. I don't want to go to a store and see a hundred of the things. <laughs> you're unique. I'm unique. My name as a child was Smile Maker. I make people smile. Ooh. And that's a gift. You can give a gift of a smile and it won't cost you a penny. But now everybody's looking pretty much the same. I know, right? uh, and I hate that. I, they, with the trendy thing, you're letting the, the market tell you what to wear, what you can't wear next week, next year. It's like, please, you don't have the money to start buying all these things because they're being dictated to you. <laughs> and, Vintage clothing and you're creating your own style lasts longer, lasts for years. It's time to rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? Well, I give it a 10. Remind us of the Instagram again. Top Hat Guy 1. Hi, my name is Iman. I'm from South Sudan. I'm assuming you're a model, is that right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I hide. <laughs> and you look, actually, you look gorgeous. Oh, yeah? thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, Let's talk you. about the outfit. Let's start off with the glasses. Where are they from? H&M. <laughs> Forever 21. Right. Forever 21. Calvin Klein. H&M. Loving the fit. So... <laughs> when it comes to fashion, I just wear what makes me feel happy. And I try to come up with like different style to look unique. What is it about the color black that you like so much? So when I put in black, I just feel happy. It makes me happy. That's all I like. <laughs> black is your happy color? <laughs> yeah, it is my happy color. For all the people out there watching right now, especially the females that, that aspire to be models, tell us, how did you get scouted? On Instagram. My manager in Uganda, I had a manager in Uganda, he was like, oh, could you come meet us? We started doing development for like one month and then I got international agencies all over the world. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own I'm outfit? I'm a 10, baby. You are a 10, I totally agree. Let me get your Instagram. Uh, uh, Imana Gwet, okay, five. Good. 